The hashtag very cool guys present how to install shadow boxes the best way for professional results. We needed to continue the theme of the existing shadow boxes in the adjacent room, so we went ahead, measured the spaces between each shadow box and the space between the shadow boxes and the chair rail. Here's a pro tip. Uh, when cutting your shadow boxes, if you have numerous boxes of the same size, you're going to set your miter saw so you can make multiple cuts. And by setting your miter saw stand to a desired length and setting up the stop, you make repeatable cuts time after time after time. You make your first cut and then slide your base cap down and butt it up against the stop that we set and you make your second 45 degree cut. Here's a pro tip. Cut spacing blocks out of plywood. This way, measurements between shadow boxes and chair rail become consistent time and time again. We're gonna start from the first corner. We're gonna make our mark off the wall. We'll draw a plumb, plumb line. We set our top spacer, which is four and an eighth inch from the chair rail. And we're gonna set our first top piece. We come in with the pin nailer. It will securely fasten the, the molding, but it will uh, allow for minor adjustments if needed. Once the top piece is set, we're gonna then put our first vertical piece in, close our joint and pin in place. Second vertical piece goes in, bottom piece goes in, and our shadow box is complete. We put our vertical spacer in place, which cut right to size to meet the top of our shadow box, and also meets our top spacer, our horizontal spacer, and creates a foolproof system for creating repeatable shadow boxes. place with our pin nailer and then we bring Brad to the party again. You're going to continue the theme by sliding your spacers down the wall and building more and more boxes. It's fairly simple. Continue around the room until you're finished. If you like this video, we hope you give it a like, comment, and subscribe. If you dislike this video, you know what to do. If you have any questions about our process, we'd love to answer them for you. Leave that comment down below. And as always, thanks a lot and have a great day.